Gentlemen, you are now tuning in to Jaja's mic. If this is your first time joining me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm a firm believer that your life will be changed. Today, I'm excited. <laughs> Today, I feel good. Because I've been blessed with a strong, motivational woman that's here to speak to you. I don't know who she's talking to, but she's, she's here to speak to you. So without further ado, I introduce you to Brittany Miner. Well, you know, earlier we were talking about, you know, how to get beyond, you know, the paralyzation of fear, you know, and how to get beyond that state of depression or funk or whatever moment in life or, you know, whatever aspect of life that you're caught in or stuck in maybe right now, you know, you want to get past that point, right? You know, no, nobody wants to stay stuck in a rut. Like, that's the worst place to be. And I've been there many a times, like, and it took a lot for me to even get out of that rut, you know, whether it was prayer, whether it was, you know, a, you know, a great friend or even a teacher or someone close to me. I mean, it just took whatever it took for that moment. But, you know, now that I've gotten older, I realize that sometimes I may not have, you know, that friend or that parent or, you know, that person there for me, you know, so I have to really just do it myself, you know, and you know, thank God that, I, I mean, I do believe in God, you know, I believe in that higher power, and for those who may believe in whatever, and that's okay, but I do believe in God, and God has helped me get through those rough points and, you know, periods in my life, and, you know, even, re honestly, like, like last week, you know, I mean, it was pretty tough for me just, you know, getting up every day for school, because I just, it was just, you know, I can't explain it really what was the issue, but it was just feeling like I was in a funk, you know, I could not function like as you know normally basically so but honestly you know through prayer and just quiet time with myself and meditation I was able to you know be myself again and but you know I don't honestly I don't really want to have to do that all the time and I just feel like you know we can really help ourselves stay focused you know and, and kind of just you know stay on the right track so with that being said I know that for me, a lot of times, you know, I just get so caught up in people and, you know, and, and helping people out and point into other people, but I always neglect myself. And so I was, you know, I want to tell you guys that it's really important to always pour into yourself first, you know, put yourself first. So whether that means, you know, taking a quick jog or, you know, taking a, a nice long bath after a long day or, you know, changing your diet, drinking more water. Whatever it takes, you know, you have to put yourself first because if you're pouring out from an, an empty vessel, you know, what are you really pouring into? You know, I mean, you're just pouring from an empty place. You can't do that. Like, you will completely burn out and you will just pretty much, I mean, what, what, what good is that, right? You know, what good is pouring from an empty place? So when I say pouring into yourself first, you have to put yourself first. You know, you can't just neglect you because if so, you're not good for anything else, you know? So I wanna encourage you guys to really, you know, just trust your instincts, you know? You know when, when you're feeling down or, you know, maybe when you're just not feeling yourself or maybe you're extra moody this, this week. I mean, you know yourself and no one can know you better than you. So always don't ignore those signs. Like don't ignore any small sign. Always go with your gut. Trust your instincts because they never lie to you, right? So. I just, want you, I just want you guys to really, you know, trust your, your instincts, you know, don't give up on your dreams, make sure that, you know, you're just, you know, writing down your goals every day, you know, making your vision plain, 
you know, following your dreams. I mean, whatever it takes. Like, don't think that your your you know your work is is gone unnoticed because sometimes we don't think that oh you know I'm not progressing because I'm not making money right now. But it's not about the money, you know. Like, it's about following your passion. And when you follow your passion, the money will come. You know. So just take your time. Do what you have to do right now, so that when you get to that point, you know God can bless you. You know you you can do what you need to do because you've done what other people won't do, right? You know you're you're doing what you have to do right now, so that when you get to when when it's ready for you to come into your purpose and come into your passion, you already have the the know how, you know the the mindset, the the conditioning to do whatever you have to do to make your dreams possible. So thank you guys for tuning in. I love you all. God bless. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>